Hey YouTubers, Mo here from Mo's Motorcycle Journey. Had to rent a U-Haul because I'm on my way to pick up a new addition to the family. Uh, yes, it is a cycle. So, uh, the other purpose of me just filming this was just to make sure the U-Haul wasn't damaged or uh, something that I like to do when I pick up a U-Haul. Uh, especially when I'm running something, I just take a video of it and that clears up any problems going forward. Uh, this is something that I pull with my Dodge that's uh, hooked up to it. It's, a, it's an older Dodge, but I've had her for a long time. So, start the intro. <laughs> area real quick I had to go to the bathroom looks like we got some weather coming in which will be nice nice rainy ride on the way home uh, but yeah I had to stop for a quick break I already grabbed something to eat so I'll get back to you in just a minute oh, here from Moe's motorcycle journey this is the new Kawasaki Vulcan uh, sorry about the burn as a mess. There's my boat. But anyways, this is the Kawasaki Vulcan. I bought this. The guy said it didn't run. It needs carbs, which it does look like it needs some carbs. But uh, I did. All I did was uh, put a battery in it and take the gas out, put in some new gas, and it seems to be carbs seem to be leaking right at the very bottom. So I'm going to have to check into that but um that's it guys the, the kawasaki vulcan it's not a bad looking bike got a really good deal on it all right be back with you shortly okay so this is what we got figured out about it carbs need to be rebuilt uh i pulled i, I got some oil I got a new oil filter, that's the old one right there. Um, the oil is actually draining out, as you can see, it's just just about down to a trickle. That oil was actually disgusting. But then there's even a little side gauge right here, and it's supposed to tell you how much oil you have in it. And it wasn't even registering on there, so I shouldn't even have been running it but it's better to to know if it'll run or not i don't know if you can tell the the date on these things at all i'm not sure i mean it's got 12,000 miles on it so i would say that it's probably been changed once maybe i don't know but it's just better to get the stuff out and get some fresh clean fluids in there and like I said I already ordered the the carb kit that's going uh, to be coming in hopefully in a day or two and then I'm gonna pull this this carb out and I'm gonna rebuild it and get this thing uh, to stop leaking um, I mean, it's not that I mean, the more I look at this bike the more I, I like it so but all right, let's get this oil in and get back to you. Okay, one thing I've noticed that this oil filter has actually got a 17 millimeter made right to it. The new one that I got from Kawasaki, however, does not. It's just a, a flat filter at the top, so. I don't know. Maybe that's just a nicer filter. I don't know. And then I got the, the Kawasaki Performance Oil Four Stroke. It's pretty cheap. It's six bucks a quart. So, but here we go. 
And of course, I'm going to pour some oil into the, the filter like I hear everyone does. Let that soak up a little bit. Um, look at it, it's just, just went right back, right down. So we'll pour some in there. So it helps it, it's just going right down. Doesn't hurt anything. Even if you lose just a little bit, it's not a big deal. So, but yep, let's get this filter on and get this oil changed. and Start her up and see how she runs with new fresh oil in it. Now I'm sitting here looking at that rim. That rim doesn't look bad at all. It's in, I mean, it needs to be clean, but it's in really good shape. So this is actually a pretty nice bike. Just needs some TLC. So, but yeah, let's get this uh, oil filter on and get back to you. Okay, filter on. Like I said, it didn't, it, it maybe lost a drip or two once I screwed it on. So every oil change I ever do from here on out with a cycle, even my car, I'm going to dump some oil in it. It's not going to hurt anything. It just helps when you, uh, when you start it up and it starts to pressurize the system. But one thing I, another thing that I noticed, where did it go, is the nut that goes on this thing now. Look at that thing. I mean, that thing looks, and I didn't even replace the crush washer. That thing looks like brand new. That's just, that's just amazing to me for the oil to be that nasty and that to look that good so but anyways let's get this back in and get this oil in okay now this the mechanic told me that this bike takes three point oh wow look at shine the light over here look inside there look how clean that is you know and this bike's only got twelve thousand twelve thousand two hundred and 66 miles but I just that's even the cap that's it's just amazing so but we're going to uh, dump this oil the the mechanic told me it takes 3.2 quarts so we're going to and then we're gonna dump three quarts in but then we're gonna check it with this gauge here and I believe from what I've seen that's gonna fill up and it's got to be between these marks here. Where, where am I? There we go. There's two marks. There's one down here, and then there's one a little further up. And those, those two marks are, it's got to be in between those two marks, from what I'm told. Um, from I just learned on YouTube. So we're gonna we're gonna do that and see how that works. So, but here we go. So I'm not going to, I mean, it takes 3.2 quarts is what it's saying. And this is a two-handed job. So as you can see, I'm adding the Kawasaki motor oil right now. And then I'm going to get another one, but just bear with me here. Okay, so we put three... I would say we put, well, I guess I could put a little bit more of this one in, but they say 3.2, and I don't know if I'm holding that perfectly level. Nothing's level in here anyways. So, it says 3.2. I started pouring this. I counted them to two. Figured that was close enough. And then I finally, I got, I had to get over three for it to register on that thing right there because I can start to see it and like I said you have to have the bike level when you check this and look at that look how nice and clean that oil is that looks nice I likey 
So, but then when you put it back on the kickstand, it goes back down. So, but, yep. Uh, so I'm gonna get this cap back on, which I got all that cleaned off, and get this cap back on and give her a start and see how she goes. Okay, so this pail, this oil pan I had was completely empty. It had a little bit of water in it, but it was, it was completely empty. That's the oil that was in that bike. That is, that's disgusting. And it's really, it's got like water in it because it's, now again, it's just very thin. I don't see oil mixed with the water, but the oil seems very thin to me. I mean, just look at how that drop drips off. That's very thin oil. So I don't know. For all I know, that could have been factory oil filter. Factory, I don't know. Put in the comments if you know anything any different about the oil filter. But that's disgusting. And let's get this thing a quick fire and see how she sounds. Okay, so last night when I was running this, the carbs were leaking uh, from the gaskets right here, right at the bottom of the, or the middle, the top of the float bowl is really what it is. And so I got a, I got a rebuild kit coming, should have it in a day or two, so we're going to replace that. I'm going to get some more line with a new fuel filter uh, that seemed to be okay to, like I said, these are all things that I should have did, but I'm not going to sit here and put, you know, all these new fluids into a bike that I don't even know runs. So once I got it running, uh, I mean, and really, like I said, I just changed out the gas and, and there was the vacuum line not hooked to the gas tank back here behind the pet cock. And once I hooked that vacuum line up, the pet cock started working and it started pushing gas to the carbs and then I got her to fire. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is a, a cold start here. I don't know how well, let's see how well it's gonna fire on a cold start. I gotta make sure there's the key. All right, all the little lights lit up. Turn the gas on. Choke it. And then we'll know if it's going to leak gas again today. Here we go. Now, like I said, the float bowls could have... We had to refill the carb with gas, I would imagine. So... which I'm going to rebuild them.
sides are getting warm. Seems like it takes it a second, so I don't know if it's, sorry about that, I don't know if it's something to do with the leak. I mean, I'm going to have to work on all the little bugs, I can see the gas flowing, flowing through it. But I'm going to have to work on all the little bugs, I know that. We'll, uh, we'll work it out, we'll get it figured out. Alright, well once I get my carb kit to rebuild my carb, we'll be good to go. It still is leaking on this side just a little bit, but not as bad as it was. It was just dumping the last time. But I think that uh, I think that sounds good. It's idling really good. I've already been in the air breather. Everything's clean inside there, so um, we'll see. Noisy little engine, though, compared to a gold one. Yeah, I think it sounds good. All right, but yep, we'll uh, we'll get back to you here in a little bit. Once I get the carb kit, I'll take you through that. One thing I noticed about this, hold that light up there. One thing I noticed, I just all I did was took a cloth and I wiped this little area here. And look at how that turned out. So, you know, that's really. The bike just needs to be a good TLC cleaned up and, you know, I, I think the bike would be in great shape. Uh, it's going to need new tires. I haven't even looked at the, the date code on the tires. I mean, that's a Bridgestone. It's not that old, but Bridgestone's been around for 30 years, whatever, for cycles. Um, when I find one, I'll, I'll let you know what the date code is, but probably on the other side but yep all right we'll get back to you again guys thanks a lot for watching the video i will do the uh carb rebuild once i get the kit i should get it here in a day or two and i'll throw a video on for that and i also will throw another video on for detailing the thing uh, a, a good wash wax detail make it look just about as pristine as we can make it Again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you subscribe, you will see my new video and ring the bell. You will see my new videos come up of uh, me detailing it and um, uh, the car we built. So again, guys, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.